Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the diffusion. What is the type of diffusion? That is nothing but the steady state diffusion we have seen and the fixed first law of diffusion, which corresponds to the steady state diffusion conditions. So guys, over here in this video, we are going to learn about the fixed second law of diffusion, which corresponds to the unsteady state conditions. So guys, if you're new to my educational channel over here, Engineers Academy, please clear, please consider subscribing and guys, please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get instant notifications. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic. That is nothing but the fixed second law of diffusion. So guys, first of all, let's just recall what is nothing but the diffusion. So diffusion is nothing but the movement of the atoms or molecules into the matter, such as the like the steels. Steels are the alloys of iron and carbon. So basically over here, the iron is the parent material and the carbon is nothing but the impurities or we can call it as the carbon is diffused into this iron to convert it into steels basically. So diffusion is nothing but the movement of the like the atoms or molecules into a matter or else into a metals basically in our previous video we have seen the example of the copper and nickel how this uh, copper and nickel atoms gets diffused that we have seen in our previous video of diffusion so and we have also checked the concentration profile we have seen that graph also so guys over here now let's talk about the a second law of diffusion which is invented by Mr. Adolf Fick and basically over here the second law of diffusion corresponds to the unsteady state condition. So over here the unsteady state condition means what? The unsteady state condition is nothing but the condition which is, which is totally dependent upon time and the its concentration like the concentration profile changes with respect to time. It means the concentration gradient at a particular point with respect to time changes. So over here, that condition is nothing but the unsteady state condition or else we can call it as the like the concentration gradient is not constant over here. Concentration gradient changes with respect to time. So that is nothing but the uh, unsteady state condition. Whereas in the case of steady state diffusion, the concentration of the atoms or molecules which is passing through the cross sectional area remains constant. So that we have seen in the, our previous video as well. So over here, the like we are talking about the unsteady state diffusion or we, can, we are talking about the real systems in the practical scenario like it happens that is the unsteady state condition occurs but that unsteady state condition is time dependent it is depends upon time basically so over here let's take one example over here while doing carburizing it means i'm having a like the increasing the hardness of the material or we can call it as the it is a heat treatment process that is the carburizing is nothing but the heat treatment process and while doing that carburizing we need like a carbon rich like a, a source through which or uh, the parent metal gets coated and through which the carbon atoms like gets diffused into our base material or else parent material so while doing the carburizing so we'll get the like the suppose at a at a particular time like the n number of the carbon atoms or n number of the carbon molecules which is coated on that particular parent material while doing the second timing it uh, it shows the it shows it, it does not show the linear graph it shows the different profiles of concentration upon that particular parent material so as we can see over here in this particular graph it shows the different uh, concentration profile it means the carbon when when carbon starts entering into the material its concentration changes with respect to time so that is nothing but the example of unsteady state diffusion which occurs while doing carburizing. So how can we derive an equation for this unsteady state condition? As this particular second law of diffusion is the time dependent like uh, we have got the derivative for the first law of diffusion that is nothing but the j that is nothing but the flux which is equals to minus d into dc by dx. 
so in case of the first law of diffusion we have got the derivation like uh, j that is nothing but the flux which is equals to minus d into dc by dx so that is nothing but the dc by dx is nothing but the concentration gradient over here and minus d is nothing but the diffusivity so minus sign over here that indicates the diffusivity in like the from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region. that is nothing but the positive kind of diffusion over here so that, guys this is nothing but the first law of diffusion now we can derive the equation for the second law of diffusion but over here in case of second law of the diffusion we have to consider the time as we we know that this particular derivations derivatives are nothing but the like the time dependent it also consider the space and time basically so if we if we calculate the derivatives of the first law of diffusion we will get the second law of diffusion so over here dc by dt is equals to d divided by dx into bracket d into dc by dx so after solving this we will get a dc by dt is equals d into under bracket d square x divided by dt square so guys this is nothing but the formula of fixed second law or we can call it as this is nothing, this is nothing but the equation of fixed second law of diffusion that is derived from the first law of diffusion and this particular second law of diffusion is like is suitable for the unsteady state condition or as we can call it as the real conditions basically so guys over here in this particular video we have seen the fixed second law of the diffusion which is suitable for unsteady state condition so guys i hope you like my video if you having any doubts any queries if you having any further points that we can add in this video please feel free to comment below and guys if you having any doubts any queries please ask me in the comment section so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy